uh, I think it's a very important topic to discuss uh, as safety is a number one concern for us has been from the very beginning because we are a trust business, you know, we're dealing with people's hard and money that they send to their friends and family back home. So in short, yes, your money is secure and we are ongoingly investing to make sure that that remains to be the case. We use the latest technology to make sure we encrypt our apps and our web products to make sure that no one can hack in. We are always making sure that we identify who the customer is and trying to validate their identity. That's why many of you probably have been asked for your ID or your proof of address or your proof of funds. We're not doing that because we don't have better things to do. We are doing that in many respects because the regulation demands for that and because that's uh, a very important part to keep uh, your money safe. Fraud, it's a part of financial services. It's always been. We are a pure play digital player, so we don't deal with cash which makes us significantly less risky than uh, the Western unions of, of the world because we can actually monitor transactions end to end. But still, frauds just find ways to, to get around. That's just a fact of life. And they usually do a couple of things. First of all, they impersonate you, which means they set up an account that feels like you, sounds like you, but is not actually you. And that's why it's important for you to always keep your personal details safe and we'll be able to talk what those personal details are, but it's your name, last name, phone number, all of these things that help fraudsters actually impersonate you. So we're trying to make sure that they don't. Stolen debit cards is a fact of life. Fraudsters try to steal it and try to wire as, as much money as they can before you block the card, uh, before you cut them from that. So. What we are trying to do is always make sure that we identify the card, we link the card to the individual. We never allow people to send money on other people's cards. That's why we're asking for you to set up your account on the same name. And, and we also ask for various verification steps to make sure that it's actually you who is using that card, not a foster. Sometimes these things slip through, so it's important for you to always keep and monitor your card transactions. And if there is suspicion there, block your card. Better to be safe than sorry, as that's something you can do. Uh, on your own directly with your bank. So they are where we all are these days, which is social media. They are trying to email you uh, with fraudulent requests, they're doing fake job offering sites, and also pretending to be uh, your colleague or force, trying to impersonate someone else. Always keep an eye on and always call us. Always call our customer care if you have any doubts. We will tell you if this email is from us or not from us. If an email comes in from non transfergo domain, so it doesn't have transfergo.com in it and has something else in it, better to avoid it altogether because we don't send emails from other non transfergo domains. Be cautious and be skeptical. And, and that's, that's a good policy in this world now. There are, there are smarter ones and less smarter ones. <laughs> the, the obvious signs is, is um, emails that come from weird domains and weird email addresses you need to make sure that uh, if, if someone contacts you out of a bloom um, who is not us you need to be always suspicious in general and always check their contact details google them see who they are i mean they on a on the list somewhere they should have a physical presence social media presence right if someone tries to rush you into doing something that is never us our customer support never rushes you to do things. If you don't do something urgently, you know, lose service or won't be, that's never the case, simply speaking. So our customer care is trained professionals who are doing the opposite. Their job is to make you feel comfortable and safe rather than do rushing things that you don't feel comfortable with. It's always best to stop if you have a concern, just stop the transaction and remain suspicious as they can be creative and new patterns can emerge. So yeah, these are high level things, but the devil is in the details usually. From day one, you know, our businesses, we are based on trust. We are today the best rated money app, money transfer app in Europe on, on Trustpilot. That's the core of our business. What we do is we invest money in training people, in building the right organization, in making sure we have enough resources in dealing with emerging threats. We also use technology quite a bit to make sure that we prevent and identify patterns of emerging fraud. We use AI, machine learning to make sure that um, we spot these new trends fairly quickly before they become a problem. And lastly, this is what we haven't been doing a lot and this is what we're doing now. We wanna uh, keep talking to you guys, our community, to make sure we get feedback from you on what trends you see emerging so we can actually have your voice here 
heard today is, is one of the first sessions that we had, but we want to do more of these when you guys feed information to us and our teams to make sure we improve faster. This communication with our community is going to be also a very important part. There's a chance that potential fraudsters and scammers watching this video. So the last thing I want to do is tip them off, right? And how do we do that? We use technology to identify patterns because patterns are key. Because we know how our customers transact. We know the normal patterns and the abnormality is what we're seeking. Whenever there is something fishy, we want to make sure we have enough real-time resources to make sure investigate and, and adjust. That's sort of how we are doing with it. We have a highly trained and experienced AML teams, anti-money laundering teams. They collaborate very closely with product and customer support because our, our customer support is probably one of the best rated customer support agents in Europe which is uh, what we're super proud of. That's one of the reasons why we have such high scores. But what they do then are on the front line, trying to help you guys uh, manage the situations. So an effective collaboration internally is also very important. And that information flow between product uh, risk teams and, and customer care. That's the system that we're building to make sure that we respond to emerging threats. This, this one is easy, never. We never ask you for your CVV details. Personally, the only place where you have to enter them is in the product, which is fully encrypted. So basically, when you're logged in, you're safe. Apart from that, don't share those kind of details, right? When you're logged in, usually you're either asked for your fingerprint or your face ID, or your PIN code, or a combination of both. That's why we have all this protection in place so that when you are in our product environment, you can feel free to leave this necessary information. But we never do that over uh, customer support conversations.